Well, Dr. Jen, always great seeing you. It's good to see good you, too. Good morning. So I do remember when the pandemic first started, I did see some people wearing double masks. Maybe they couldn't get their hand on the N95, so they were wearing double cloth masks. Mm -hmm. So here we are now almost a year removed from when the pandemic started officially talking about wearing double masks. So where did this notion come from? Right. So I think there was a lot of sort of interest that increased after the inauguration. We saw a lot of people um, at the inauguration doubling their masks. And I started seeing an uptick in, in reporting and sort of commenting on that. But it really is sort of a timely topic because right now, as we know, January um, 2021, unfortunately, has been the deadliest month for COVID. We're averaging 3,000 or so cases per day. We know that uh, in addition to that, we have these new variants that have come out that are more highly transmissible. So, you know, it makes sense that if there's any time to double down on our efforts to really stop this virus, uh, it would be it would be now. So you're talking about supporting the double mask um, proposition out there. But I want to ask you about there are some reports that are showing people should maybe wear three masks. I know we could continue with the numbers here, but they're saying three masks sure. are about 90 percent effective, where double masks are about 75 percent effective. Where do you stand with this? And sh should we just keep rising mm -hmm. with the numbers? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Well, you know, we certainly want as much protection as possible. What I would say to start at a, at a baseline is there are many people, there are many Americans who are not wearing masks at all. Um, I don't want to forget this group uh, of our, our, our fellow colleagues. I encourage everyone to wear a mask. That is the first thing that we need to do, along with our other measures. So, by the way, this does not replace social distancing, et cetera, and things like that. Um, you know, when you think about the idea of adding layers onto a mask, it, it seems to kind of make sense that it perhaps would make it more difficult for virus trends mission. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we can see how that may happen with two masks, perhaps three masks as well. But there are some caveats with that, guys. Remember, we have to make sure that we're still comfortable enough to be able to function. We Breathing. need to still be able to mm -hmm. breathe, yeah. exactly breathe properly. Um, so, you know, it's not that I'm saying that people have to wear three masks uh, or even um, always wearing two masks. You know, right now, the CDC, their recommendations are still two or more layers for masks. The World Health Organization, if you go to their site, they have a really, really great tutorial. Uh, they have great tutorials on how to make three uh, layered masks uh, themselves. Um, but, you know, I do think that in um, certain situations, uh, you know, and for peace of mind and for added protection, two masks could be a, a reasonable option. But okay. we have to weigh those with, right. you know, again, as we get higher in the mask, <laughs> the, <laughs> the numbers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it seems like a lot of the concern is coming as we watch these three variants of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. uh, reportedly, it's supposed to be more contagious. There's still preliminary research being done to see if it's actually more deadly than the, than the coronavirus. We had earlier video that showed people wearing the face, the, the I guess the visors, or right, the face the coverings, the mm -hmm. shields. Should we be wearing them? Right. Uh, as an accompaniment with our triple masks? Well, so, you know, once again, this is this is all about, uh, we have to weigh everything here. We do know that wearing a shield along with a mask is going to give you more protection than n not wearing a shield at all, because that's gonna give you eye protection, right? So okay. um, that's certainly a, a good option, no matter how many layers or how many masks you are wearing, right? Because that adds eye protection. Of course, we don't pe want people to just wear the shield right. without the mask, because mm -hmm. the mask is, is number one. Um, you know, uh, once again, I would say that this is really the time to double down. So if you were only wearing, say, one mask, first of all, your mask should be at least two or more layers, according to the CDC, or three layers, according to World Health Organization. Uh, you may consider double masking, especially in those areas where you're going to grocery shop, or maybe you have to be out with others. If you have to take public transportation or things like that, that could be a good option. And of course, a face shield would add more protection to that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Now, you last time we spoke with you, you just got your first uh, dose of the vaccine. And I, I remember it distinctly because you said I'm very proud of that. Uh, have you gotten your second dose and, and how does that feel? I did. I actually got my second dose about a, actually uh, almost a week ago um, today. Um, it was I got the Moderna vaccine. That's me getting my second dose. Uh, still very, very prideful. I was very excited to get that. It was almost like a, a wave of relief that kind of washed over me as uh, as I finished. Um, I'm doing very, very well. I had some some um, you know mild to moderate uh, symptoms after getting the vaccine, which we know can happen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and that's one thing I think it's important for people to know that that can happen. But, you know, once again, when we get those symptoms, if we get them, it's it's a sign that our immune system is working. Um, so, you know, again, I'm feeling great. I'm very, very happy and proud and feel honored to have been able to get the vaccine. And I highly recommend uh, 
everyone get the vaccine who qualifies. Mm -hmm. That is one of the big things that's going to get us out of this pandemic. Absolutely, doctor. Right from your mouth, mm -hmm. from someone who has experienced it. Thank you for joining us as always. We really appreciate seeing you. Thank you. Good to see you.